welcome to this episode of the Acro Yoga Show where we're going to be talking about the subject of weight in acro. This is a topic that's come up a few times for us. It's something that we've talked about. We even gave a, um, uh, a topic, a, a talk conversation at the Dutch Acro Yoga Festival a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was very valuable, very well received. So we want to open this topic up uh, to you guys so that you can also learn something, gain something from it, and hopefully uh, make the acro community or your acro community a safer, more inclusive, uh, yeah, more informed place around the topic of weight and acro, yeah? That's it. This is a very common topic. It comes uh, up in many communities among different perspectives, flyers, bases, female, male. Um, and I wanted to ask you, what are your biggest takeaways from our conversations that we've had? Yeah, so first of all, my biggest takeaway um, was that this is firstly an issue in Acro. I think in the conversations, interactions that we had throughout our, you know, Acro practice and training and development, um, yeah, I realized that this is a, an issue that affects more people than I was aware. Uh, and I realized how how easy it is to have an impact on some people, and including myself, um, how certain views or ideas or stereotypes and also um, self, self thoughts or um, beliefs, self beliefs, uh, have an impact. Um, mm. And just through our communication interactions in Acro, yeah. So with the stereotypes, you mean that the bigger male people should be bases and the lighter people should be flyers. Are that the stereotypes you mean? Yeah, those are the typical stereotypes. Um, but also, yeah, I guess what I was more aware of is how much of an issue people had about being a flyer if they are heavier hmm. um, or on the larger side, let's say, and about how, yeah, the communication that you commonly hear in acro, how it's most of the time maybe not so helpful towards those uh, aspirations or those ideas. Like I also love to fly. I'm not. I'm not the tallest. I'm not the biggest person ever. But I'm also not that small and that uh, light. So I also have a a certain belief around my own flying abilities um, that I think has partly been just through the community and through how acro occurs that I have developed some self-beliefs or limiting beliefs, let's say, about hmm. my ability to be a flyer. Yeah. And can you give an example of what you said is not so helpful or something that you now know, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, in future I will not do that anymore? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's one main question that comes up a lot in Acro that I, I now am very aware of and hear is how much do you weigh? Hmm. I used to ask this question as well uh, as a base, so... Yeah, that one's very obvious, but also I think some of the, maybe not so specific, but some of the non-verbal communication or how people respond uh, and deal with requests to fly or to play um, and interact with people. So sometimes I've, I've seen since these conversations kind of how certain interactions are in a negative way, but it's hard for me to give a specific example. Yeah. For example, I would say if I was to try and do one would be, uh, let's say a larger flyer wants to fly on someone and their response might be like, uh, not really sure, or they're making up an excuse. They might say, oh, I'm a bit too tired, or I don't really feel like doing that, or whatever. When really they're thinking, I can't base you, or I feel at risk in terms of safety, or something like that. Um, or they're not communicating that properly yet, and they're making up an excuse. Yeah. Yeah, we've talked about in our conversations how, of course, people can own their own feelings, can own their own... Um, issues or things that are present um, and we cannot be aware of everything but having more awareness and more compassion can at least help create a safer place and everyone deals with this differently and we also don't have the perfect answer or the solution um, but we did find five different ways that we think may improve uh, communicate uh, communities do you want to share what those five things are? Sure. Obviously, first of all, when people have concerns about other people's weight or abilities, it's mostly about their own safety, which those concerns are valid. 
Yeah. The question is, is it really necessary to ask someone's weight? So point one would be to ask yourself the question, is that really necessary? Nice. If you feel like it's necessary to know something about the weight that has more to do with your uh, concerns of safety, about the concerns of if you're able to do stuff, so we can see if there's another way to approach that. Can you do progressions first? Can you maybe lift someone up in a bird and just see how much they so weigh? So number two is finding progressions or a safe way to actually play and work with someone to find out if you feel comfortable uh, working with them in that skill. Correct, yeah. Uh, so number three would be to see if you want to say something, can you make it about yourself? You can say like, I don't feel strong enough or I don't have the energy now, or I don't feel capable, my skill level is not there yet to do this move. Um, so that's rather than making it about them and saying you're too heavy for me to base. Yes. Because the reality is in most cases, I think most people know acro is about skill, acro yoga, um, and technique. You know, kind of for, for the majority of movements, technique and skill outweighs your size or strength um, for a lot of things. And so, yeah, if someone's uh, a little bit heavier than what you're used to basing, I think it's fair to say that maybe your skill level isn't um, as high as it could be to yeah. actually base them in that. For example, if, if my skill level is high enough, I can base someone twice my weight in a bird, in a throne, in certain moves, um, and maybe not in a castaway. But if I get super skilled, super strong, and they are a very super skilled strong flyer, I could also potentially do that with someone much heavier. So yeah, it's about um, skill over about, weight. Yeah, yeah, skill over weight, but making the comment about yourself, not yeah. about their weight specifically, because yeah. their weight isn't the key factor. It yeah. is a factor that is often the key factor is skill and technique. And this is for the flyer's point of view. It also sure. works the other way yeah. around. As a flyer, I'm also not saying to a base, oh, you're not strong enough to base me in this. Or if you I... look too small. Are you sure? <laughs> People yeah. have said that before. You look too small. Are you sure you can base me in this? So, yeah. So. And then you can also try to yeah. go Make through this step. Yourself. Yeah. Correct. The other thing is to question how well do you know this person? This if... is number four, yeah? Yes. Okay. So number four is how well do you know someone? Is this someone you're playing with once at a jam, you've just met, it's just for fun, you don't know anything about this person, you don't know anything about their own relationship with their body or stuff like this. Or maybe it's your regular training partner. You can adapt the type of conversation of comment to your relationship. Yeah, totally. If it's a good friend and you're used to joking with each other or something like that, then it might be appropriate in how you communicate. Um, you know, to make a comment about their weight, not necessarily, but it might not be taken in a bad way if you really know that relationship well. If it's someone you don't know, we would suggest to err on the side of caution, right? Yeah. Yeah. And number five was uh, not avoiding the yes. question. So we, I think we've had some situations where people have mentioned that the nonverbal communication or the feeling they get when someone is kind of trying to deflect the question of do you want to play with me can we try this and then the answer is oh i'm a bit tired or i don't really feel like it or blah 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 mm. making up excuses rather than outright giving some kind of clear response and that is again you don't have to say you're too heavy for me i don't want to do this um, but again making the comment about yourself but making sure you give a clear response because yeah. otherwise that can also leave a very uh not nice feeling and in an unspoken way as well yeah yeah well with all these tips for you it had certainly helped us so maybe it will help you in your community your practice we hope that other communities will be a yeah more inclusive welcoming safer place where people feel that they can come to jam and they don't have to be a certain size or a certain skill level that you can just come and join an acro class yeah we really believe that acro yoga is for everyone and everyone can, you know, try every role and participate in acro in different ways. If you're, you know, a particularly small person, but you love basing, go for it, base. Your skill will improve, your strength will improve, your technique will improve, and you'll be able to base uh, lots of people in great stuff. And vice versa, if you're 
big flyer and or a big big person that you want to be a flyer, go for it. Um, so we feel really strongly about this. And it doesn't dismiss any concerns about safety, any possible increased risks to take this all in account. That's all fair and we encourage that. And at the other side to yeah create more awareness and yeah. you know, compassion. And a, a no is still a no. You know, yeah. even if you don't want to hurt someone's feelings um, for your own safety, always feel empowered to say a no. And that is a complete answer. So that's a maybe that's the bonus sixth one. You know, if someone asks <laughs> yeah. you to play, practice your consent uh, and simply say no, and you can leave it at that answer as well. Um, that is also valid as always in acro. Yeah. Um, so that can be a powerful one too. Yeah. So to recap, here is the five key points that we're just gonna summarize for you that you can take away and use if you find helpful. So number one is? Is it really necessary to ask someone's weight? Yeah, just ask yourself before you actually verbalize the words, is it totally necessary for me to, uh, to ask this question in this moment? Yeah. yeah. And number two? If you feel a concern about your own safety, then see if there is another way of approaching this. Can you do progressions? Can you do another move to feel out the skill and the weight? Yeah, nice. Uh, number three. If you really need to say something, can you make it about yourself? Can you say, I don't feel skilled enough. I don't feel strong enough today, maybe. Yeah. And number four is about your relationship with that person. How well do you know them? Are they a really good friend, a regular training partner? Do they have any issues with their body or their size or their weight? Um, if you know these things, then obviously be mindful. And if you don't know the person at all, just be extra careful about how you choose to communicate with them. Yeah. And number five is please do communicate. Deflecting an answer and not really addressing something can also cause weird feelings of someone feeling that you don't want something but don't know why. So be straight with someone yeah. in a nice way. <coughs> yes, definitely. And uh, the bonus one, number six, was um, that no is still a complete answer. So if you're struggling, you know, how to answer a question of someone asking you to play or try something with them, you can always just say no and that can be a complete answer as well. Uh, and you can stick with that if that feels good okay. to you as well. Yeah. yeah. This subject can sometimes be sensitive and it can bring up emotions and thoughts or worries, concerns or maybe questions. If that's the case for you after seeing this video or after playing in a jam or a class, please feel empowered to talk to someone, maybe a friend or someone you know and trust in your community uh, or even us. Feel free to reach out, send us a message and we are very happy to talk to you and be in contact and help if we can. Yeah. And we just want to finish by saying that uh, we don't want this subject to become a, you know, a, a feeling like it's a huge problem or a big issue in Acro. Um, it's just something that we've noticed with more awareness and more talks that we've given about this. That is something that happens in most communities. That most people, uh, you know, feel like they've encountered this in some form or they've encountered communication that's not so great. So we just wanted to share these tips to you know, hopefully help the communities around the world, help your community, help you level up your communication, make Accra a really safe, really fun, really inclusive place uh, for everyone to play and yeah, have fun. Yeah. So that's what we hope for you guys from this. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Accra Yoga Show. Yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>